and welcome to another stream video. I'm gonna try some Eternal Poison for the PS2 today. Kind of a looks like it's a mix between Namco Bandai and uh, Atlas. I'm guessing Namco Bandai made it. Atlas distributed it. That's kind of weird. Let's see how this is going. Like where this is going. Ooh, hello. Just me today, so if you have any questions, put them in the chat and I will get to you. It looks like we found it. A really impressive Basic. for a PS2 game, I will say. Tage, stay alert. Majin. Rocky. Hold it right there. Pretty impressive graphics for a PS2 game. Vanquish all enemies. Oh, that seems pretty straightforward. Oh, that would be bad. Let's see how this works. Let's go. Ooh. All I knew this was in this, that this was in the uh, Atlas game. You're all weaklings. Oh, which setting is the snowball on? It is on three right now. Three. And it's great to see you again, Mr. Ninja. I guess I don't have to actually set it there since it's just me. Closer. 
could probably just sit it right here and be just fine with it. Just kind of cradle it. Speak up. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, I'll try. Is that better? Just some technical differences. Why can't I shoot an arrow in someone's face? I would like to shoot an arrow in someone's face. I always think that's a good idea. Okay. So, I'll just try to... Attack this guy. I'm gonna bite him. Bite him in the face. I think biting him in the face would be a good idea. Let's do this. Does that wolf have a howl like a freaking nah. opera singer? Or is that just me? Oh. Can I attack with him again? Can't. I can't. Stars. Anything else I can do? Okay, so he has to wait. He's been facing the guy. Oh, the delay on this thing will never get old. I already like the aesthetic of this game. This is Eternal Poison for the PS2. What is it about? I have no clue. I just started playing it. I literally, uh, this is one I got at Half Price Books the other day. It's an Atlas game. Okay. Um, it's an Atlas game. <laughs> opera singing is, is acceptable in polite society. I do enjoy opera. The whole aesthetic of this game is the, um, is, is that kind of like gothic lolita type thing and of course that had me sold from the second I saw it. And I will say I do enjoy the, the girl that is here. What is she doing? This wolf guy. Oh yeah, this is this game. I'm so happy. I had no I had knew nothing about this game. I had no clue about what it was. I just saw it was done by Atlas, Namco Bandai had some kind of hand in it, and I was like, okay, that with the aesthetic, uh, this can't be awful. So, um, and if it is, it'll be fairly entertaining, because I do enjoy really awful things. Wait, I can capture him? Oh my god. It's like Pokemon. I gotta catch them all. <laughs> And I have to sing with them and then shoot arrows in their faces. Yeah, but when I saw this game, I was just kind of like, okay, I'm gonna try and, uh, I'll try it. I'm just very happy to find out it is a kind of a tactical RPG. I gotta get used to the little map of the buttons. Yes, Gothic Lolita Pokemon. Pokemon. Yes, Pokemon indeed. Yes, Gothic Lolita Pokemon. And so, Gothlita or whatever. What's its name? Gothlet. 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 I've bound to in chains. I like where it's going. Okay. I probably shouldn't have turned my back to all the guys that are actually still here. Well, that's helpful. Have no worries. I want to 
capture him. Can't capture him that way. Oh, that's nice. Okay, so there's a ranged attack I can hit him with. But I'm gonna hide behind that rock for a little bit. Hey, can you guys, one of you guys tell me, uh, what does the thing actually say? Does it actually say I'm playing Eternal Poison? And did it actually change when I updated the thing on, uh, XSplit? PS3. Okay, good. That's what it should say. Just somebody, somebody sent a like, and it still had the the name of the stream from when we did the extra life stuff. That's why I was asking. Got to catch them all. Capcoms. All right. Maybe I can choose him later. I wonder if that was a bad idea. Probably. Okay, so I can't attack and capture in the same turn. Or change the lead command or whatever. That's the name of the game? Is Late Night PS2 thing? Oh, that's weird. Maybe it's because it doesn't recognize this game. I will say that is the one downside of this, is that um, it seems like Twitch doesn't recognize older games, at least the majority of them. I, I'm kind of curious how, where they pull their database of game names from. I don't, I mean, I think the minimal setup looks pretty good. Okay, good. It, the game is Eternal Poison. Okay, good, it should be. I like to imagine that all my attacks are in the face, because that's where attacking should be done. Yeah, that's probably a good good point. I, I would imagine that's where they pulled their database from. Um, I mean, there's a lot better places you can pull it from. Oh, that's right. Put him in a bunch of chains. I like this. It's kind of like a more messed up version of Pokemon, where you're binding them instead of capturing them with balls. Let's just capture this one. No, not me. How pathetic. I'm okay with her saying that. Interesting. Kind of like the wake me. You can basically make him move twice then.
<laughs> yes, I agree. This, uh... Well, th I mean, the style of the gameplay I know is right up your alley. It's the aesthetic that's up my alley. in the face. That's not very nice. Let me ask you, is the sound better when I'm doing this? By myself? Because I have the mic closer to me. That's actually good. I'm actually very happy that it actually sounds like I mean, maybe this this is a good setup. Maybe we have to have a, one mic per person or something. So that means eventually we're going to have to invest in the, uh, the, the lapel mics I've been wanting to do for a while. But, you know, money and whatnot being short right now. Super Meat Boy! That made me very happy. Thank you, Seth. Okay, so it is better. So maybe this is one of those things where maybe it needs to be in front of us somehow. This isn't another Atlas game that I'm gonna end up loving and then be horribly disappointed by the fact that there's not another one. right, we have a mixer, don't we? Maybe at some point we should take a day and maybe after the semester's over or something and uh, get you over here with the mixer and everything. Because, I mean, I, I'm honestly, like, right now, I'm just taking a break from... I was playing Mortal Kombat a little bit earlier, um, but then I had it on for, like, I literally just had the game playing in the background for almost two hours while I was typing and working on stuff because I just didn't feel like turning it off because I was enjoying the random background noise. Gotta catch them all. Um, when does my semester end? That's a good question. Uh... Not this week. Next week's finals. So this week is last regular week of classes. Then finals. Um, I only have one in-person final uh, on Thursday night. Um, a week from Thursday. But... Yeah. Yeah. But I also have, to, I have a paper. I have a massive paper I have to finish. Actually, I have several. I have one, two papers I need to finish now. Gotta kill them. <laughs> well, for Mortal Kombat, yeah, I would think so, but... This game? Mm, I don't know. I think this game is a... Catch them all in your book. Because I like catching things with books instead of balls. It's much more academic.
that to bind them all. Mmm. I do like that. I'm not opposed to that at all. Yes, it does give you knowledge. Knowledge is very important in life, sir. Okay, so when does... Nothing to him? The edge by knowing. It's actually a very good form. This is, this, it's truly a magical book. So glad that didn't do something weird when I hit that button. Okay. Shall we? Yes, ma'am. Why is he not bowing? I feel like I've tried this before and it didn't work very well. What am I doing wrong? Oh. Hey, you can skip it. That's good to know. Hmm. 
Oh, really? Well, it didn't seem like it did at first. Well, then again, I was always lower ground, wasn't I? I don't think I've attached from higher ground down onto somebody. combo thing with them. worked. Okay, that's good to know. Okay, I can do with them. Yeah, you're probably right. It's probably either an accuracy debuff or a defense increase. Yeah, I could see that. That that would make the most sense. Hit you in the face with a book. I'm telling you, books like this, this could hurt somebody. If I hit somebody hard enough with this thing, it would just not come out. I think my accounting textbook could kill somebody, honestly. I don't think it's a knockout. This book is a good knockout, but an accounting book or a calculus textbook? Oh. That's just like death. <laughs> There's only one way to read something when you see ality like that. Accountability. I'm trying to say it with calculus now. Man, that's a tough one. Cacality. That just sounds like I'm killing somebody with cacao. That would be disturbing. Yay, stage clear did something right. Ooh. Calculality? Calculality. Calculality. That's uh, calculality. That, like, that's a hard one to say. Ra 
lucky. At last. Flight plan. Uh oh. This can't end well. Is it just me or does the aesthetic remind you guys a little bit of um a little bit of Shadow of the Colossus, like the, the outdoor aesthetic, like the, the world in general. Okay, maybe not that, but the forest stuff. Sebzy's in. What's Sebzy's in? Yes, I would like to save. I would love to save. Will there be room? I grabbed a random memory card. The real question is, where will there be room? Ah. Marvelous. Saves are successful. Emote. Oh, okay. I'm not seeing it on my end, so it must be something that only Seth can see. Even though I saw the Super Meat Boy one. Oh. So that was just the... The little prologue kind of to teach you how to play type thing. Our story takes place Ooh, story in the time. When demons were more than just a legend, the kingdom of Valdia had ruled the northern regions of the Sandus continent for over a thousand years. The Church of Valdia had embraced the goddess Atona as their one true god and protector. All other religions were banished from the kingdom through force. Valdia was ruled by a series of kings whose bloodline could be traced to the ancient rulers. And the Valdian knights were trained to defend the kingdom from emote without for just... and within. Wait, According emote for subscribing to a different channel? What do you mean? Honor, like channels can create their own emotes? Our story begins not long after the announcement that young Commander Olofman would marry Princess Lanarche. Shortly after, Ooh. the princess vanished. Elsewhere, the mysterious realm of Besik had appeared. Home of the fierce creatures known as Magi. For the first time in years, fear awoke within the hearts of the Valdians. Before the High Council could declare an official statement, King Valdus stood before his people and issued a proclamation. The scriptures have spoken of an evil omen that will signal mankind's ruin. And that omen is the appearance of Vesk in our world. We cannot allow the Margins endless thirst for death and destruction to send our kingdom into chaos once again. We must stay strong in these trying times. My beloved daughter, the Princess Lenard. Every time, boy. Has been kidnapped by these Every freaking people. time. You always do something that just makes me want to smack my head. No matter where you're from. It's okay, though. Perfectly reasonable. Please. So once you Rescue earn your sub button... Look, I, I don't do the whole sub thing anymore. I'm, I'm more Dom. Oh, you mean like a subscription button? Sorry. Forgot. Ooh, hello. Yeah. Meh. Hot girl with wolf friend and guy with bow and arrow that could sh possibly shoot people in faces. Royal people. Um, maybe sorcerer type thing. Oh, well, let's go with the hot girl. Oh, you have to get enough followers. Well, how do I get more followers? Do I have to be like entertaining or something? Because if I have to be entertaining, you know what this is going to entail. Indeed. Wolfalo. You know what? I like it. Best Wolfalos. The unholy realm. Yeah. Cute girl. 
with Wuffalope. Still not as good as Brain Cow, but definitely Wuffalope. Hey there, you potty mouth question mark person. I won't last long at this rate. Huh? Huh? What's a child doing here? Who are you guys? Hmm, how interesting. What? Huh? Wh what? What's your name? Don't people normally introduce themselves first? I'm Tage. Tage. And this is... Tage. Ranunculus. Rocky, for short. I wanted to hear the story, too. A talking Wolf dog? Alert. You're a... The phrase you're looking for Majin is Wolf Majin. A Majin? Now, what's your name? Redica. How do you even pronounce that? Redica? 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 Redica. Redica. You will wow, Sage and Redica. You know, I hate it when people use everyday names like those. Just a little. Thage. Thage, Redica, and Majin Wolf Lope. Okay. But why? Are you yes, ready? Yes, yes, my body is ready. Wait, what are you doing? Beckoned by the Dark Queen, secured by the Spirit, and bound by I had by a nickel for every time this happened. I hereby forge our contract of oh body my. and mind. What? what? Ah, it burns! Oh, goddess, bow before me. Stop! Ah! Our bond has been sealed. That's one way to recruit somebody to your party, I guess. Tage, there's Majin approaching. Let's go. Hey, wait! What's going on? By the way, don't forget to tell all your friends out there that right now, RavenshireHobby.com your source for all anime collectibles and some tabletop gaming right now we are we are uh, in the middle of a sale for everything in the store just type in the promo code smallbiz at checkout and you will get 25 percent off your whole order so anybody out there listening we're just doing it this weekend you know that whole thing. Yes, I agree. That is that that I think that is that would be a great way to get people. Uh, ooh, I can equip stuff. Okay. Uh, yeah, I think that's what we should do. We should get people. Um, yeah, that's how we should recruit people to the group. Just kind of start forming magical bonds and seals with them. I think that that would be appropriate. Magical seals, not the type you're thinking of, Seth. That's a different kind of seal. I did like the idea that you were going to go to Otter Space, though. That's pretty funny. Oh, there's a name for it. Yeah, the Oath of Obedience. I think that's a good way to recruit people into any kind of social group. It's my turn. This is a 
if he's bad, he's just like there's no difference at all. Well, these are the same guys as before, aren't they? Okay. Yes, we could club magical seals with it. Because those are the most annoying ones. The things magical seals will do to magical penguins is just atrocious. And horrifying. I think he's an archer, so I probably don't want to get too close to him, or else I can't shoot. Yeah, I can't shoot him in the face. Which is still stupid. I, I think you should be allowed to shoot people with bows and arrows in the face. Only with bows and arrows, though. Like, arrows should be allowed to be shot in the face. Let's go! Yes, I did. That, that's what I was talking about. Yes, I did get the picture of the otter, and it was very funny. It did make me smack my head You're for the pun, though. So. I do like the fact that this game uses over an overkill in a kind of a, a useful way. It's not just like, oh hey, you kinda overdid it there. So let me ask you, so can you hear me and, like, the game, uh, like, pretty well at least? I just want to make sure you're not only hearing me. good. So, it's funny, the minimal setup, how the minimal setup's working out for us. Darkness, come! Margin will follow. like a lot of uh, Dragon Ball references we can make to this one.
Yeah, so they, they are weak to fire. I do like the fact, yeah, they are Egyptian goatmen that are weak to fire, which is kind of weird. Let's go just to see that. Kira. I feel like I've seen this name before. In a very similar setting. But from a very different company. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. No, I agree. That's why I kept looking at their stats, because I'm like, they can't all be weak to fire. That's really weird. Librarium. Librarium. No, let's not make it plural. Please don't make it plural. Okay, good. Then why are we- why'd you say light browns? video I saw you were working on it the other night um, you still messing with it <laughs> this one's opera singing in my face too that's not very nice. Yeah, no kidding. I freaking hate permadeath. <laughs> oh yeah, the blowing up the cows and toy soldiers. That's a good time. Good times, good times.
I mean, I saw that you were in the beginning stages. I, I was just kind of curious where you were on it, if you had a chance to get any further. I just saw that you had the project open and you were messing with it. You mean the title of the game? The title of the game means something. This is news. This guy's dead. So, um, maybe after the semester is over, or maybe like the weekend after the Dying semester is over, maybe the three of us can get together and do, um, maybe record a, a podcast or something. Um, I kind of would like to do a year, you know, end of the year, like, you know, what was our favorite whatevers, uh, from the year is just something to kind of put up there and get people. People love lists. Lists generate conversation. Conversation generates controversy. Controversy, as we all know, creates cash. I hope. out of the way. <laughs> Rave click. fading indeed, sir. Some people say it's a horrible idea. I think it's a phenomenal idea. Ineffective. Move, move. Please don't be dead. Please don't be dead. Oh, good. He's not dead. Not only is he not dead, he leveled up. The one thought that I think throughout most of my life in dealing with any, any female. Because nine times out of ten, it's only a bad thing.
them now. It looks like it's the floating guys are weak to darkness and wind. Uh, the Egyptian guys are definitely weak against fire. So I can't use any of the skills, so probably use him. Yeah, water was the greatest weakness, but I don't have anybody that has water. I know, at least. Just to clear him off the board, I think. I made a mistake of trying to separate my guys out too far. I should have kept them all. It was pretty tight as a unit. Do something. I think those guys are in my way, probably. Sorry about that. Ha <laughs> 
Pathetic. I gotta say, the, the animations are... Like, everything is it's definitely PlayStation 2, but I gotta say the graphics in general are still very impressive for the system. I'd like to know at what point in the life cycle the system was at for this. Is this I think it said, what, 2008? Or was it 2006? Such a good point. Yeah, her arms must be ridiculously strong, because that that book does look very heavy. And holding a book like that, even a small book, is difficult. Ooh, that's good to know. I can change my vantage point. Favorite character model. Right there. Okay. The... Oh god, is it towards the end of the... Yeah, it's towards the end of the life cycle of the PlayStation 2. So I guess this, the graphics for this game are about right then. Because I can't imagine it was done by a very large studio. I mean, I know it's hmm. Atlas and everything, but even then, that's not a large studio. Oh god. He's dead. I think there is permadeath because his picture's not even showing up anymore. <laughs> it's only natural. Okay. So So about halfway through the life cycle. When did um? It turns you into my slave. I mean, Wasn't that I think I think to compare this to like a Final Fantasy X or any of the Square Enix games. I mean, when it comes to graphical ability, yeah. The I mean, the graphics are definitely um. The graphics are, no, are definitely. I mean, because you were there. Uh, impressive, but the graphics for huh? the Square Enix games are always going to be far above and beyond just because of how many people they have and how much money they dump into those games versus, you know, what Atlas would have been able to do in 2008. Quit talking in riddles. If that explanation wasn't enough, then there's Atlas no always had to kind of get by, by on uh, either the story, the gameplay, the aesthetic. They had to do something in those. Because they knew they didn't have the budget, I think, for the other stuff. You know, I've always thought that the music for Atlas games, especially the Persona Logic. series, and the, just the Shin Megami Tensei games in general, are just, just phenomenal. Tage, there's a Falsen nearby. Falsen? 
It means human in the Majin language. People are of no use to me, Rocky. Let's keep going. What are you thinking? If someone's here, they might need our help. Didn't that ever occur to either of you? If we're not going to help them, who will? You aren't trying to order me around, are you? Did it sound like an order? Anouk! Anouk! What the hell is this thing? It's adorable. I don't huh? know what it is. Kind of want to hug it. Looks like a little bear. That's... Tra -ira -ira? Almost like an eel. Anouk! Eagle. Anouk! Oh my. It's a freaking eel. what do we have here? Count at! Count at! <laughs> it's a fat Ewok. You must be Count Duke du Boston. Sounds like a I am honored Rammstein that you song. know of me, my princess. Du Boston. Du, du, du Boston. What do you want? You seem to be in a spot of trouble. Well, we saved someone in Bessick. Uh, yeah, that picture. The bear is the eternal poison. I like them. that. That's funny. There is no need for worry. A safe haven is nearby. A safe haven? Is safe haven one word? Or is it hyphenated? It can be dangerous here. Let us move on from this place. Okay. Okay. So Persona 4 came out at the same, a same town time as this. I'm guessing this game was developed by someone other than Atlas, and probably a smaller company, and Atlas just did the, the publishing, and Namco Bandai must have done the distribution, I'm guessing. Your surprise is understandable, but here you are safe from harm. Vesic appeared in my domain, engulfing my fair town of Isopolis. I feel like all these names are made up. Like, these aren't actual places. Therefore, I am the Lord of Vesic, and am obliged to greet its guests. Yeah, I saw that name at the beginning when I booted up the game. Um, you know, that's the thing is I don't, I don't know who Flight Plan is. Like, I, I'm, I don't know anything about that company at all. I think you'll find we are quite safe here in this magnificent. And it was at the start when I did the little prologue part. I have prepared lodgings for all of you at Twilight's Rest. Please, make yourselves at home. Oh god, there's gonna be a sparkling vampire from our careful line. Lodgings, huh? Thank you very much. There's no need for thanks. The comfort of his guests is all the thanks a host needs. It's not very luxurious, but I guess we'll try it out for a night. The Matrix series. I vaguely remember some at night. I don't know the other one. Was that the like the, the Matrix games, you mean? Like Enter the Matrix and those are if you need anything else I am at your disposal please don't be afraid to speak with me are they still around you won't and thanks no. again huh. 
Oh, wait, are you talking about black as in the, the, to do any it, the, less the would be gun game? First person shooter. Now, get some rest. Because, like I said, uh, Summon Night, I vaguely. Aren't you being a bit rude? He's a count remember. after all. I don't care about people's That's right, you social tell him. status. That's a great way to find yourself in jail one day. Oh, it never left Japan? Huh, really? What, what system was it on? You know, not all aristocrats are as nice as him. And is it a visual novel? That's the next question. Don't worry about me. I'll be fine. You're pretty confident in yourself. How'd you get that way? If you were me instead of you, right. you'd understand. <laughs> Whatever you say. I want to talk to this little fat Ewok. I don't know what he's saying to me, but he's a cute little fat Ewok guy. I mean, just look at him. He's so chubby. Nothing. Saturn, you say? Okay. I, I know that there's PS2, and I do. I could play it on a PS2 since I have a Japanese PS2, but I do have the things to play an import game on Saturn. I like that idea. The only problem with it is the fact that. Is that, My you know, guests. if it is Welcome like this game, one. translations would help. So, mm, sure, why not? Yeah, anything to talk about. Ah, uh, uh, I almost forgot. This little fellow's from the Kuna tribe, one yeah, of Vesic's native species. Between you and me, they also serve as a primary food the source for the Majin. The Majin the fat little Ewok dude. That's depressing. I mean, I've if I don't have the translations for a Japanese for game, services. I'm just gonna make up my own dialogue. And do we really want that? In maintaining the town. That's true. That is very true, I do agree. This building is known as Twilight's Rest, and it shall be your home away from home. You may use these quarters to save, load, organize your party, and perform other basic necessities. necessities. You say. Man with your face in that pose saying the phrase basic triple dot necessities makes me a little suspicious. I hope you don't mind sharing your home with refugees. Who knows? Perhaps you might even befriend a few of them. Oh no, no story will be ignored. I'll just create my own, don't worry. I think you'll find that people who owe you their lives can find be out more probably than it's nothing like the actual story. <laughs> and then maybe we could turn it into a book. And this is the magnificent Traviata House. This facility is for the Majin who captured <laughs> yes. in battle. Yes, yes he must. Oh god, it's gonna be a scene of ghosts. Simply bring them here and toss them ever so delicately into the grinding oh cauldron in back. Grinding cauldrons. You may like not know this, I know there's already a band called Cauldron, has but a number of skill and item benefits. Yeah, that'd be good. Oh, and I'm sure you'll grow fond of their final screams as well. <laughs> wow, he really likes the idea of final screams. I think Seth might have been right on with the whole. Thing he said about that the Fusiporium imports some of the most exotic wares you shall ever find. 
If you plan on venturing deeper into Vesic, you should really consider paying it a visit. This hall has become a favorite haunt of mercenaries and people seeking Seems traveling like an awfully companions. modern drum kit for the whole setting. If you ever find yourself in need of trustworthy allies, well, then you're in the wrong place. But if you aren't concerned with the integrity of your comrades, then you're in luck. <laughs> ah, the Libertine. Be sure to stop here and visit my dear I friend will, Trust Eric. me. She seems to have alcohol. If you find yourself with time to spare, she has alcohol you and could puzzles? try your hand at Greatest one of her bar puzzles. Ever. Miss Erith is a crafty one, though. Don't say I never warned you. <laughs> a troop of musicians used to perform here regularly. That piano also looks way but too modern alas, for the setting. But they've all been rather inconveniently taken away by the margin. Is it possible those dreadful beasts have an ear for the fine arts? Do keep an eye out for them. Perhaps their music will one day fill these Are empty halls good? again. Are they actually good? I think that's the next question. Well then, please make yourselves at home. another fat Ewok, but this one's like Papa Fat Ewok. Do I have any money? I do have money. Ooh. Ooh. Choir's level 7. Well, what a coinky dink. Very well. The sword wouldn't be what I would need. I would need this for her because she uses a book. Okie dokie. Let's try. Yeah, he really does look that way, doesn't he? Red wine cures bleed. I want that to sink in for a second, that the idea of drinking alcohol is going to cure bleeding. 
This game's all way all the way backwards, I think, at this point. Yes, that was a mistake in my mind, obviously. I got it. Very well. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. And that is the sort of thing. So you're saying that that all injuries are only in your own mind in this world? Hey look, this can cure seals. That's good to know. You sure? Very well. Oh, I'm broke. Very well. Come again. Let me try it real quick. Somehow I feel like I'm in more pain than I was before. Dear God. Ow. Nope. to a fine liquid and blood paste that's somewhat pixelated. Critical one acquire. Okay. Well, that's good. Let's just go ahead and... What's this? What do you want? Yes, let's take you so you can be something. Then let's just sell you off. Because I'd like to... No refund. Come back later. Who are you? He's a soldier of fortune. Oh my god, this whole game's based on booze. This game's all about alcoholism. Fantastic. Good luck. 
Yes, that's exactly it. You're a drunken schizophrenic. Ooh, this looks interesting. Oh my god, it's a whole game played with fat little chubby Ewok guys. This is awesome. Yep, I think this lends credence to the idea that my character is legitimately just a drunken schizophrenic. I'm gonna go with that. I think that's perfectly reasonable to say. Oops, I think I hit back. They did. Oops, I wanna play that. Thank you, Vic. Good luck. And the booze is their eternal poison. I will agree with that. Um, no, it's done by Atlas, which Atlas, I mean, it was published by Atlas. It wasn't done by them. It just has a very similar aesthetic, I guess. It is very relaxing music, I, I do agree. It's very chill. Oh, so get this, so, uh, was it last night? Yeah, last night, I introduced Seth for the first time to, uh, Starbomb and their music videos. He had never heard of them or seen them before. soundtrack of this whole little game thing here. Thank you. 
Yes, that's right. It's dangerous to go alone. I have to play the real game. Yes, ma'am. Come back soon. or that's miming the slapping of a very short person. Either way, it's wrong. Basil. Yep, this whole thing is a metaphor for drunken schizophrenia. was a little much for that laugh. Could be a figment of my imagination, but then again, isn't life in general just a figment of our imagination? Time moving forward, slowly but surely. Only as we realize that sooner rather than later, our own sadness will come to an end. Our happiness will be over in one brief instant. This is a good time to remind everybody to check out RavenshireHobby.com. Right now, 25% off everything in store by using the code SMALLBIZ. It will only last until tomorrow night. Oh, make that tonight. November 29th at midnight. Yeah, it really would, wouldn't it?
Alright, now that I've gotten to the first save point, I think I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up for the night. Um, it's late, I just wanted to see if this setup would work. Uh, I'll probably jump back on and play more of this. Maybe tomorrow night if I get some more of my paper done. So, uh, to my two friends who are watching now, thank you for watching. Thank you for making sure this works. Um, try it again tomorrow, hopefully at some point. Maybe uh, somebody else will watch it. Who knows? And to the people in the future who watched it, hope you enjoyed it. So, go away. Well, actually, don't go away. Just go to RavenshireHobby.com.